No, I want to see the trailer. Okay, so Jessica Jones premiered last Friday. Was it last Friday? Whatever. Um, like a week ago before I started watching it. And I just finished watching season three of Jessica Jones. And like I'm having mixed feelings about it. And here's why. Like it started good. I was excited. I put it off because I know I would be upset because I know I'm going to binge it. And I know I'm going to be upset because, you know, it is the last season and it's not coming back. Waited a year. Just like I've waited a year for every other show. And, you know, I wanted to savor it a little bit. But decided to start watching it. It was a yes yesterday. And the first, like, six episodes, I would say, were really good. Like, I really liked it. I was hooked in and I, I didn't miss a minute of it. The next couple episodes after that were okay. And then by episode 10, like, I was like, I was so bored. Like, I was bored with episode 10 and halfway through 11. But then it redeemed his, itself halfway through 11 and 12 was good. So basically, you know, it's a new villain, Kilgrave. Well, we think he's dead because the end of season one, she like broke his freaking neck. And then um, her mom died season two, which was the big villain of that season. And then um, now this year, well, first we're introduced to a new member, um, a new actor, a new cast member. And I recognize him immediately because he's in one of my favorite movies, which is, uh, it's, it's a, sh a shitty movie, but... I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, I forgot his name too, but the movie was Abraham Lincoln, the Vampire Hunter. Like I've watched that movie so many times and the actor that played Abe Lincoln is in this season now. And I like him in this season. And he's a super too. He can feel like bad energies and stuff. It makes him sick when he gets around really bad people. So he blackmails them. So Jessica picks him up in a bar to go to her apartment and all of a sudden there's a knock on the door. She opens it. She gets stabbed. And then we're introduced to the new villain of this year. The two of them go on a search to um, a search to figure out who it is of the three people he's blackmailing. And they happen upon, uh, no, I forgot his name too. They happen upon the person that stabbed her and it turns out he's a really like terrible guy he murders people so which I I don't I don't know I like the fact that it's a regular guy this time it's not a super or enhanced person in any way and he, the only thing is that he's really smart and he knows to use his brain and use his wits and he knows he like puzzle he's a puzzle man so he puts pieces in certain places to bring out certain things in, in people. So he uses that to you know, manipulate everybody around him. And I, I kind of like that he's a regular guy actually using his brain and not a super. So his whole thing is he believes, he finds people that he think has cheated in life and gotten the upper hand and he tortures them and kills them. Because, you know, he's a woe is me type person. He's jealous of his brother. He thought his brother was everything. But turns out, you know, he's been a murderer all his life. But, you know, he is dealt with. It's, it, it's taken 11 episodes for them to deal with them. But while that's going on, the secondary villain became Jessica's sister. Who is, I forgot her damn name too. But Patsy is what they call her. No, Trish. And, you know, I've seen it build up because the, the other guy looked like his storyline was going to get ready to wrap up pretty early before it ended. So you, it's kind of, it's predictable that she was going to be the secondary villain. And me personally, I've never been a fan of um, Trish, the character. I've never liked her since season one. I just thought she was just extra like we didn't need her 
Um, but this season, like, she played... Her character was really, really good this season. And they really brought it for her. Um, but yeah, I was hoping, like, Jessica would kill her and get it over with. But she ended up in jail and stuff. Um, she was going around killing... Being a hero, killing bad people, you know. But she, now... You know, it turns out she couldn't stop. She was becoming the bad people that she was trying to rid the world of. So Jessica handled her. Um, so we we got a, a glimpse of um, Luke Cage in the final episode, which I like. I like the fact that they, they put one another in each other's shows. Like, um, and I still haven't seen season three of Daredevil. Like, I lost so much interest in season two when whiny ass... Punisher was on there. I just haven't even watched it. But I loved how they each, you know, jump in to each other's storyline. So, you know, they still pop up here and there. And um, in the end, everything wrapped up. The, the murderer is dead. Trish is going to jail. So she packs up and leaves the alias place to the little guy that was a crackhead in season one. And turns out he was a spy had his name but she leaves it to him you see her packing up going to the train station and or bus station or whatever flight and she gets a ticket but then you hear in her mind Kilgrave's voice telling her to just pack up and leave and run away and um so it, it seems like she had a change of mind or change of heart and turns around and She's getting ready to go back to fight some crime. So, as we all know, the, all the Marvel series have been canceled. Jessica Jones is really the the one that I love the most. Like, I love her. She, out of any Marvel hero, is my favorite. I liked um, Luke Cage, but he's just too... I don't know. He's just too... I don't know how to describe it. Like, I, I like him. He's okay. But he's not my favorite. Um, I hate Iron Fist. He's just such a contradiction. He's a lily white dude that knows nothing about nothing. He was born into money. And, you know, out of every person of color, out of every Tibetan, out of every Asian, he's the Iron Fist. And he's so corny. Like, I hate him. But, yeah, she's my favorite, and I'm sad that they've canceled all the series. But I've heard they're doing the, the team-up thing, like they did the limited series for um, Defenders. I hear they're doing uh, Heroes for Hire type things. I'm hoping that's true, because I really want to see more of her. And I don't really care for Daredevil. I don't care for Punisher. I don't care for Iron Fist. I'll, I'll deal with a little Luke Cage and Jessica. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. As far as this season, I did like it. It was, it was a little underwhelming for me. I expected so much more since season two was so much better. Like season two was my favorite, then season one, now season three. Um, I expected more and I'm a little disappointed, but there it, it has its highs. But it does have its lows too. So um, I do recommend you watch it. Of course, it's awesome. I love Jessica Jones. But prepare to be a little underwhelmed with season three. Like, out of five, I'll probably give it a, a three. Because it's really, it's still watchable. She's just a regular person. She's just super strength, you know. And she has morals and she has all of that. She's like the anti-hero. She doesn't want to be called a hero. But she does things for good. But she's an asshole with it. So, I love her and I definitely do recommend 